We've got new details now at noon on a shooting in Uptown Charlotte that happened last night. Now there were multiple crime scenes, including one just feet from First Ward Park and officers believe it's all connected. Mary Hawkins is live along East 7th Street. Mary CMPD says witnesses helped piece this all together. That's exactly right, Naya, and this all unfolded around 915 last night. Witnesses told police they saw a car crash, heard several gunshots, and then saw a man running away from the scene. I want you to listen to this police dispatch audio. We just heard at least 10 to 15 gunshots down 7th Street on the other side of First Ward. I'm sure you got that Range Rover going north on Caldwell. The Range Rover is chasing the car with front end damage. They blow multiple lights, but when they blow the one at 7th and Caldwell, they crash into the car that is up against the uh, fence. This is video from that scene at 7th and Caldwell at the edge of First Ward Park. You see that black Jetta with damage to the front with the airbags deployed. We also saw bullet holes in the back windshield blown out. Officers did not find anyone there or anyone who was hurt, but they did recover two guns. And just a few blocks away, police found that Range Rover on Seagull Point Drive. You see the back passenger window shot out. And take a look at the front windshield. According to CMPD, there were 14 bullet holes in the windshield. Now, First Ward Park is one of the areas where CMPD has stepped up patrols because of situations like this. In fact, this is the third time I've been reporting from this exact spot in the past several months because of a shooting. It's something you can imagine is quite concerning and frustrating for neighbors here and for police. Reporting live from Uptown Charlotte, Mary Calkins, WBTV on your side.